hello everyone welcome back this is video number three in this video i'm going to talk about how rs232 communication works and principally this is for non-technical people and i may not be 100 percent technically correct but i think this will help out many hobbyists so first of all uh, you need to understand th there are many protocols uh, uh, the protocol which the inverter follows is X modem. So in this video, I am I will restrict myself to X modem only. Uh, X mod modem uh, works with three wires. One is the ground wire, one is receiving wire, and one is transmit. Receiving is uh, referred as RX, and the transmitting wire is referred as tx so you can uh, generally what we uh, receive uh, a cable with the inverter as um, it contains uh, rj45 at one end and uh, rs232 connector on the other side so this is uh, referred in this picture you can see that if if we uh, put the cable in front of you and uh, the golden uh, connectors are facing you then the bottom one will be the first uh, connector and the top one will be the eighth connector and on the rs232 side if uh, the five um, connectors are on the left and four connectors are on the right then the top left would be one the bottom left would be five right top would be six and the right bottom would be nine number pin or the connector now so what we know is in this rj5 uh, rj45 cable the first one is the transmitter this is the transmitter second one is the receiving connector and the last one number eight is the ground on rs232 side uh, we will have we will use 2 3 and 8 so from the top the 2 would be for transmitting 3 would be for receiving and the number 5 is the ground wire to link the ground wire so these connectors use 3 wire this is x modem so uh, all other uh, connectors or pins are not used so this is a basic concept of x modem uh, let's test these wires with the help of multimeter. So this is the So let me connect. I'm just connecting my multimeter with the cables and I will uh, show you the voltage from the RS232 connector so let me connect the wires so we recall that 5 was the ground so you can see I will put the ground in the number 5 and now I am going to put uh the other one in point pin number three and you can see that it is point two right so there is no current principally point two is just nothing and uh, this is the receiving pin and the number two was the transmit as soon as i uh, connect the transmit you can see there i have a negative voltage of 14.2 so you can note that in the pin number uh, two i had this uh, negative current so we uh, found out that in pin number two we had negative 14 and pin number two it was only 0.2 that was nothing and we went and there was a common ground which was pin number five so let's go to arduino and uh, let's see what results we get from arduino with help of multimeter
so let's connect i'm connecting my arduino mega and uh, uh, the ground is on the left side and i have the tx2 on my right side and you can see on the transmitting side i am getting five voltage so th there is a, a sketch in the background running so the temp the voltage is changing but uh, the tx is giving out and on the rx side it is zero so you can see that so let me try to show you a closer view of this uh, i am right now connecting to tx2 i think you can see that and i am getting this almost five voltage uh, as output so let's get get back to our presentation and see what we have uh, observed with multimeter so uh, what we uh, understand now is that uh, the tx the uh, transmitting pin is always high high means that it has a voltage uh, and uh, as, as you know that computers works on the presence or absence of current zero or one or high or low likewise rs232 pro communication protocol in the same way the absence or presence of current that that are known as beds and uh, uh, and when the, whenever there is a start in the transmission uh, there is uh, that starts with a with a low so so let's talk about uh, um, rs2 and uh, 232 and uh, TTL. What is TTL? So what we saw is that we had negative current uh, and uh, RS232 has a voltage range of 5 to 15, whereas Arduino was giving 5 volts output because Arduino was using TTL protocol. In TTL, the voltage range is 2 to 5 volts for high and 0 to 0.8 volts for low. So so these are two different protocols, RS232 and TTL. Um, and then there is another issue that uh, whenever we are playing with our Arduino and attaching the sensors, do you recall that uh, the power to the sensor always go from Arduino because all the circuits need to have a common ground, right? so in this communication we also need to have a common ground and now th the problem is uh, the voltage range is wide and we don't have a common ground so this is an issue uh, when we want to talk to uh, inverter through arduino this means that we cannot we cannot connect arduino directly with the inverter we need to have something in between that for mediation and for that mediation we have level shifters you can see a few level shifters in front of you in this pictures i will talk about these level shifters in this in the next video they are just like shape shifters you know they are they are called level sh shifters and this is the solution these are the things we need to uh, utilize when we want our Arduino, which uses TTL uh, communication mode, which has five volts, where, and we want to talk up with the inverter, which has uh, five to 15 volts, and uh, we, we don't also have a common ground. So uh, I will talk about this level shifters in next video.